Harris, and welcome to Latinx Film, The Connection, a television show that seeks to connect the Hispanic community to programs and services that are in support of them. We have here Amy Ackerman and Adriana Church, who's going to talk in details about a new partnership they have made with the Latin American Community Center and the Garfield Park Library, where they're going to be offering free English as a second language classes. Welcome to the show, ladies. Thank you. Well, let's start off with this partnership. Can you tell us about this partnership and the details that are involved? Definitely. Um, what I can tell you is that we have offered English as a second language classes right um, for a very long time at our center, but we decided to expand because we realized that sometimes there are people that are not able to make it to our Wilmington location that may be interested in classes at other locations, and Newcastle seemed like a great area, and the county was very, uh, very open to this partnership. So. Um, we, we uh, expanded to Garfield Park uh, in Newcastle, and it's a, a convenient location, a great room. Um, it's free to all students, and uh, we're just uh, we're just about ready to start it up. And uh, who are the classes uh, offered to? Sometimes people think as English as a second language, only Spanish speaking people are going to be there, but that's not the case here. So you can touch bases on that part. It's not the case at all. Even though we are the Latin American Community Center. Most of, while most of our students are Spanish speaking, it's definitely not every single one of our students. We accept anyone who, is will, who wants to learn English or who's a willing student. Um, we have Chinese students, um, uh, Japanese students, Korean students, uh, students from all countries really that come in wanting to speak, wanting to learn English. Um, so we really take anyone and we, we encourage anyone who's, who's here to learn. And what are these classes going to be offered? Uh, Tuesdays and Thursdays from 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. at Garfield Library. And is there an incentive? I know that uh, for the first 10 people, there's a perk here. What's there the is a perk. We are giving away uh, our textbook that we're going to be using. It's normally about $25, and uh, the first 10 people that sign up get a free textbook. And where is this uh, Garfield Park location? It's actually right in Newcastle, right off uh, 13. It's 26 Harlan Drive, Newcastle, Delaware. And the Latin American Community Center offers a variety of services. What adult education classes does the LACC also offer? We do. We have a whole full adult basic education center off uh, Maryland Avenue. We're very centrally located. We have uh, civics and citizenship classes every Monday. We teach everyone who's there um, basic education uh, about history and uh, just general knowledge about the country um, for anyone who's interested in possibly becoming a citizen in the future. Um, we have our ESL classes in intermediate and um, beginning. We also have GED classes for anyone who's interested in getting a GED. Um, you don't have to speak English for those classes. We're actually the only one offering GED classes in Spanish. And we also have computer classes. We have very basic computer classes for people that have never really used a computer but are trying to kind of break into it and learn how to type, learn how to use Microsoft Word, that type of thing. And what are the requirements for registration? Really, we don't require any any actual documentation. We just need, you know, some basic information, um, name, address, phone number, and just some information about what your last schooling experience was. So we don't require a lot. It, the classes are free. Um, we just we keep track of some basic information on you because every 60 hours we do an assessment to see if you've moved up a level, if you're improving, if the classes are helping your English level. And was there a need to have this type of partnership? Do you believe so? Well, what we're trying to do is um, we're trying to work with other um, other organizations and associations, and the and the county is just a, a great a great organization to 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 make a partnership with because they have so many resources, mm -hmm. and it's just it's it's they're just very they're, and they've been fantastic to work with. And the fact is, in Wilmington, we have a great great location where we're at, but there's so many people in Newcastle without transportation or. They just feel like Wilmington's a little bit too far to get to, and we've just been getting many calls saying, "Oh, you know, I've seen your signs, I've received your papers, and I would just love to to sign up for this class here in Newcastle. It's so close to my home, it's so close to my work, and you know, I don't have a car, or, you know, I don't have transportation. So it it opens up a new location where you know we we just wouldn't be able to have a location before without this partnership. And here to represent uh, Newcastle County Libraries, mm -hmm. we have here with us Adriana. And Adriana, can you tell us a little bit about uh, the role that the Newcastle County Libraries is making to reach out to the Hispanic community? Well, one of the things that we're definitely new of doing is welcoming organizations like the LACC and Parent Information Center of Delaware. 
so they can come in and also provide their services through our libraries in a way that will make Hispanics feel comfortable. For example, um, the Parent Information Center of Delaware has started a workshop, a computer workshop at the Bayer Library where parents who want access to their child's school's website will learn how to do that and therefore have access to their child's homework assignments, um, report cards, have access to how to contact, contact their teachers. And this is a wonderful resource because many, many parents don't know how to access these websites. So it's a wonderful resource for the Spanish community. We also offer ESL classes in many different um, libraries. For example, Bear Woodlawn has an ESL class. So this is wonderful. And um, like Amy said, it's not just for Hispanics, it's for anybody who wants to learn English. And we also have a large collection of um, Spanish books, DVDs, and CDs for those who are learning English. And they're welcome to come to any of our libraries and borrow these. And they could start using these plus going to the ESL classes. So, and we also offer um, computer classes in Spanish. So if people are interested in learning how to put a resume together, how to write a cover letter, um, how to uh, create an email account, it's all there and it's all in Spanish. And everything is absolutely free. And what is the process for getting a library card? It's very simple. All you need is a Delaware ID or a Delaware driver's license. And if you don't have these documents, we require that you show a photo ID, and this could be um, a job ID, a passport, military ID, student ID. And um, on top of that, we would like you to bring some sort of bill, like an electrical bill, a telephone bill, with your name and address to prove that you do live in Delaware. And that's all we need. And what are some of the benefits of actually having one, having a library oh, Lots of benefits. You can borrow materials, and everything's for free, like I said. You can borrow magazines, books, DVDs, um, CDs, music. We have music from all over the world. And also, you can have access to our computers. Um, you have three hours a day for um, computer usage. And um, you could also, oh, and one thing that I do want to emphasize, you do not need a library card for our um, programs. You can go to the um, bilingual story times, and you don't need a library card. You can join the chess club, and you don't need a library card. It's only to borrow materials and to use our public computers. And it's also very helpful because you can access your account from home if you can't make it to the library. And you can renew your materials. You can borrow materials. So it's, it's a wonderful resource to have. And Adriana, uh, si tú quieres decir algo en español, puedes decirlo ahora. Me gustaría decir que, que por favor visiten las bibliotecas. Es muy importante que visiten las bibliotecas porque tenemos muchos recursos para los niños, para los adultos, y es una manera en que la comunidad latina se siente que están bienvenidos. Y también es un lugar donde pueden aprender muchas cosas por, y gratis. Y, y, y pueden relajarse y divertirse. Gracias. Thank mm -hmm. you so much, ladies. I really appreciate this opportunity to interview both of you guys. And just coming mm -hmm. out here and give us this important information. Well, Thanks thank for you. having us. Thank You're you. welcome. Stay tuned. We'll return after these short messages.